This cell phone is Denise Hall's lifeline to her two children who both have autism. I mean, it's probably more important than even my house phone or any other device in my house. She checks it routinely for messages, but last week it stopped working. When she called her service provider, she was told she had asked to move or port her number to a new company, except she'd done no such thing. Someone had control of her phone and was using it to gain access to her email. Logins from all kinds of countries like Philippines and Argentina. The scam she fell victim to is known as unauthorized porting, or if the number isn't moved to another provider, it's called SIM swapping. It works like this. The criminal calls a cell provider and impersonates the victim, saying they need to switch their SIM card to a new phone. Now, two crucial human errors make the scam work. The call center employee believes the lie, but only because the victim posted too much personal information on social media, allowing the criminal to answer security questions. Once the number is switched to a new phone, email and banking apps are downloaded, and it's as easy as making change password requests, allowing the scammer to assume the victim's identity. But Denise Hole, like other victims, also had a security PIN number attached to her account. It was only a number that I would remember. My husband didn't even know the PIN. How'd they get past that? Well, it's likely the call center employee simply didn't ask for it. It's shaken people because we've told people that you can be more secure by adding a PIN or by using your phone number for a verification code for your bank or for other services. And now that verification co code, the thing that we've told people will make them more secure, is in itself insecure. And making it even easier for criminals, it's right there on the Canadian Wireless Telecommunications Association website. In order to port your phone, if you don't have a bill, all you need is your telephone number and your account number. Easily attainable information. It's an industry-wide problem, leaving service providers to come up with their own solutions. Rogers, for one, tells Global News that it has implemented a new verification system this week. Will it work? Denise Hole would like to think so, but she thought she was protected last week. Well, I don't have faith at this moment. <laughs> you know, at this moment, I'm nervous um, because really people are clever. Mike Trelay, Global News, Toronto.